Hey, how you doing, Drum Magazine readers? Glenn Sobel here from the Alice Cooper Band. We just finished sound check in Houston, but I thought I would go over my latest lesson column in the latest issue of Drum Magazine. That's this issue right here. This lesson column is on what I like to call the bucket of fish lick. Now, why is it called that? Because that's what it sounds like. Bucket of fish. Right, so this four note lick, this has been around a long time. It's been around since the days of Max Roach and John Bonham. In any given Alice Cooper gig, I probably play this lick 20 or 30 times. It's just so effective and useful and relevant. So let's start with example one, four notes. We've got right, left, right, foot, snare, rat tom, floor tom, bass drum. Simple as that. Right, left, right, foot. Notice how I'm playing every note really loud in a hard rock situation. You really want all those notes to translate. You want the audience to hear every note. The snare drum is a rim shot. So let's move right along to example two. Here is a practical application. This is a kind of fill that's very typical of a lot of, a lot of rock drumming fills going all the way back to, like I said, the 60s, the 70s. This one's going to involve some interesting phrasing using the bucket fish. It's going to be played like this, very slow, like one. Moving right along, example three. Here is a pretty famous drum fill. This is the intro fill before the first verse of Double Vision by Foreigner. Now, what this is gonna do is we're gonna eliminate the snare. We're gonna play right, left, right foot, but we're gonna keep the right hand on the floor tom. This creates, rather than a bucket of fish kind of sound, this creates uh, a fruit of the loom kind of sound, fruit of the loom. Right, left, right foot. Right hand stays on floor tongue. Got that? Right, so the pattern that Dennis Elliott played on Foreigner's Double Vision before the first verse, it uses that lick in that way. Moving right along to example four. Here's a really cool thing you can do with the bucket of fish lip. It works if you play it on top of bass drum eighth notes. Now what do I mean by that? I just mean you're keeping the eighth notes going like one and two and three and four and If you play the eighth notes, then that last bass drum is already gonna be there for that fourth note, and you're gonna hit a bass drum with the snare drum as well. So example four, I'll play example four really slow.
example five, here's a different way to phrase this bucket of fish lick. I'm using 16th notes and 8th notes now, not using triplets. This is a different phrasing. It's a very John Bonham kind of lick. It's actually one of my favorite things to do with this particular pattern. Now, pay close attention to the sticking on this because if you get off from the sticking, this lick is going to be very difficult to pull off when you bring the tempo up. So here is example five, very slow. Make sure you play that left hand at the end of the phrase like... Right, so here's example five. Moving right along, example six, another one of my favorite things to play with this pattern. This is a very famous Steve Gadd lick. People call it the Steve Gadd Rademacue lick, or Rademacue would be like. But really what's going on is that bucket of fish pattern that's happening within this lick. I'm gonna play example six very slow. It starts off with our regular bucket of fish pattern, but then we've got a double stroke left following that. And that's the pattern, that's six notes. And then I, I kind of mixed it in with what I like to call the padiddle, which is just right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left. In this case, we have two padiddles mixed in. I'll play this very slow, example number six. Example seven has a lot in common with example four. Example four, we were playing the bucket of fish pattern on top of bass drum eighth notes. Now in this case, in seven, we're gonna play the bucket of fish over 16th notes. This does work because you have a bass drum that's gonna land on that last note. I'll show you what I mean. We're playing the same thing with the hands as we are in example four, except we've got the 16th notes going. I'll play this very slow, example seven. Similar to example five, example eight is gonna use the bucket of fish over a triplet 16th pattern rather than a 16th note pattern. I'll play this very slow, example number eight.
how about we do the bucket of fish backwards? That's example number nine. In this case, it's gonna be foot, right, left, right. The foot is first. Bass drum, floor tom, rack tom, snare. So example 10 is a good application of that pattern in example 9. I call that the, the hudelabat pattern because that's what it sounds like. So what we're doing in example 10 is we're, we're mixing it in with six teeth notes. I'm going to play this slow. This is one that you really got to get the spacing of the notes just right. I would always suggest practicing this kind of stuff with a metronome all the time, right? Alright, so here's example 10. <laughs> 